Hi friends, David here from Learn Stage Lighting. And in this video, we're gonna look at RGB versus CMY color mixing in moving head spots versus color wheels. And talk to you about what you should look for, what you want in a moving head spot, and how to decide when to use which type of color mixing system. Because sure, if I was a good YouTuber here, you know, be a good YouTuber, and I would just say something like, oh, you always should use an RGB color system whenever you can. You always should use a CMY color system whenever you can. Um, you should never use color wheels. You know, I could, I could make some absolutes like that, and I could maybe even get trending on YouTube, you know, do it all in caps or something, right? But that wouldn't be the truth. So let's look really deeply here at these different color mixing systems, help you understand and decide what's best for you. So to begin to introduce you to the terminology here, to what we're looking at, etc., is we've got two moving head spot fixtures in particular. This is the Alation Fuse Profile. Uh, they also have a fuse spot which uh, this just has framing shutters instead of a third gobo wheel or something like that. Uh, and then we get a Gamma TX6Z spot, okay? Both great units, both highly recommended. Uh, they're at very different price points, but they're both great fixtures. We like them a lot, okay? The big key difference between the two are the color mixing systems, okay? So first we have the Gamma TX6, okay? This is a CMY-based color system. What does that mean? Well, what that means is we have different color flags. So we have cyan, you probably see it better over here. We can roll that out, we can roll in magenta. Roll that out, oops. Roll in yellow. Roll that out, okay? When you have a CMY based color system, that means the source, the light engine in the fixture is white. And then we subtract using cyan, magenta, and yellow in order to be able to make a variety of different colors. As we can see here, for example, uh, we'll just go ahead and pop up a color mixer. And I can mix a red. I can mix a green. I can mix a blue. Oh, I do have both of them, so I apologize for what's going on there with the fuse. I can mix a blue. I can mix the yellow, I can mix any color. And it's going to mix them seamlessly. Uh, you see there's not any funky transitions. It's, it's real nice and smooth, uh, especially if you're looking through it through the air and haze. It, it looks really nice. You know, occasionally with a CMY-based optic, you're going to see there, like you may, may have seen in that last transition, sometimes across this circle of light, uh, you see a little bit of like waving where there's like the edge of the flag coming in. That's going to vary at different focus distance in every light, um, but it's often there. Um, even on the most expensive lights, though, it's better. Um, but uh, there's a lot of bang for the buck in this light, and it's why we like it a lot. Okay, now let's take that back to white and talk about the fuse profile. So the fuse profile from Alation and the fuse series fixtures offer an RGB MA LED array. So that's the MA is mint and amber. Okay, so if we isolate those out, for example, say I take this to black, we can then see, so anywho, that's gonna be, that's gonna be amber right there. Okay, so that's the amber. And then the mint, and then the RGB, I could just pop up on the color wheel. So R, G, B. Now, what differences do we notice already between these two fixtures when we mix similar colors? So actually, let me grab both of them here, take them both to red, okay? Key distinction number one. I took these units and they're at different intensity levels. In fact, if I pull up my programmer, I can tell you different intensity and zoom levels and they're, they're different 
fixtures. They're around the same size and brightness, but they're not exact. Um, but just in general, so you know, the intensity is 48% on the TX6 and 38% on the fuse. So the fuse is a little brighter fixture at this zoom level, okay? Um, and so as you probably just saw there, we'll bring it up again. If we bring in full white on this guy, which means with the fuse, we're gonna have mint and we're gonna have amber. When we bring up full white on these guys, okay, um, the, the white engine is generally pound for pound gonna be a little bit brighter, okay? Um, it's, it's hard to see here, and in fact, in, in this setting, they look about equal. But if we go ahead and then dial in a heavy color like this red, and on the fuse, I just need to turn off again the mint and amber in this case. Okay, first instinct, we see a mixed red. Okay, that's a deep color for a CMY system. The fuse, having an RGB MA source, beats the, the TX6 all the time. Unlike a lighter color, perhaps, like a quick cyan mix, where, you know, again, they're not equal units. You know, the best, most equal way to do this would be with the fuse and the fuse CW profile uh, from the relation. But we mix the cyan and they're really close, right? Because the cyan is a, col is a color that CMY is really good at mixing. RGB, as we didn't define yet, being additive, being red, green, blue, mint, and amber LEDs in the engine of the fixture, means that your deeper colors, like let's just go, let's grab them both, and go to purple, okay? That purple on that fuse, it's a little magenta-ish, but if we go a little more, a little more purple, like there. You can see when I was mixing that, and I'll do it again here. If I go back towards magenta, the TX6 on the right gets pretty bright. And as we get more purple, that fuse just blows the TX6 out of the water in terms of overall brightness. So if you're comparing two fixtures that are of similar brightness, and one is like a fuse series, it's an RGB source, which uh, RGBMA source, versus a white source with CMY color mixing, you're gonna notice that deeper colors are gonna be brighter on the fuse series, on the RGBMA source, okay? On an RGB-based source. This, and this is between spotlights and wash lights too where if you're using a spot and a wash on an event and you want to do a really deep color in half your lights and a lighter color in the other half, use the lighter color in the CMY fixtures and in the, the wash lights that are typically a RGB fixture, do the deeper color. It's going to be better, okay? You're going to get more brightness out of both in that instance. All right. Uh, other things you want to be aware of. Um, there is this, the speed aspect. So if I just pull up the color picker, and flash over to green, flash over to red. You see it there. The fuse is instant, right? Anything with an RGB source, whether a wash or a spot fixture, because it's mixing it electronically at the LED level, is going to be instant every time. You know, you can sit there and in a show, pop between red and green or like cyan magenta, cyan magenta, cyan magenta. And you can do it to metal music, right? And I'm just doing this on the screen on the color wheel. But you can see the, the mechanical, the CMY mixing, doesn't stand a chance, okay? Let's talk about color wheels. So color wheels are the third part, right? So I was just quick mixing colors here, showing you that the RGBMA, and I was just using the RG and B, not the min and, and, and uh, amber LEDs at all, you know, are gonna make deeper colors brighter in general. They're gonna mix faster. But of course, uh, a unit like this costs more than the comparable CMY unit. With that note, what is a color wheel? So a color wheel in either fixture, um, let's just go to the, the fuse, turn up the mint, turn up the amber. So color wheel in any fixture, um, which actually in the fuse is, is actually not a color wheel, it's just a virtual, it's just color choices. But if we go to the TX, We've got different choices on here, right? And if I keep scrolling down through all the choices, we're going to see down at the bottom we can do half colors, okay? 
So a color wheel is a variety of choices that you're able to switch between. And uh, there's really two benefits to that. One, color wheels are cheaper than color mixing. If you get an entry level spot or you want to save some bucks, you don't mind not having color mixing, then having the ability, then just having a color wheel is going to be cheaper every time. Okay? But you can also do stuff like this a split color, where you're between two colors on that physical wheel. Okay? And when you take that, pop in a prism, some gobos, you can create some really great looking stuff. The third benefit to a color wheel in a, CM, in a white source type fixture, uh, as opposed to using a CMY mixing, is that your color wheel colors are generally going to be brighter. So you notice with pretty much any color wheel on the market, you get colors like UV, and then cyan, magenta, yellow, green, and red's usually the first one. And so that red on the color wheel, pretty much every time, is going to be brighter than mixing a red with CMY. So the benefit of using color mixing system versus using, uh, or using a CMY color mixing system rather, versus using an RGB color mixing system with other uh, colored emitters, are that uh, you could take a white source, mix some colors, have a really bright white source, have really bright lighter colors, but, uh, but then, you know, ultimately, uh, when you go into those deeper colors, it's going to be a little bit slower to mix, and it's not going to be as bright. The benefit of a color wheel in a CMY type fixture is that you can get a bright red that's really vibrant. You can get brighter colors, but there's a transition that you have to make. But you can do split colors, which look awesome, right? They look so good. And then the benefit to an RGB or RGBMA in, in the case of these fuses um, are not only, I mean, this is a different class of fixture, so it has a really high color quality as well to it, better for washing people. But beyond that, when we're just comparing mixing colors between two units, you're going to have whites that maybe aren't as bright as a comparable CMY fixture, but your color intensity is going to be brighter, especially in deep colors every single time. And so when you have that information, you can now start to compare different fixtures and really get a better understanding of, okay, what are my goals? What do I need out of these fixtures? And then when you're comparing them, like we do at Learn Stage Lighting Gear for people all the time, maybe to fixtures you've used before or fixtures you own, then you're really able to go, okay, you know, I'm comparing it to this older fixture, but I might be using a RGBMA source versus a CMY source for color stuff. And if you're doing color stuff, then it might not look as bright on paper, but in person, it may be better and more vibrant. At the end of the day, if you're considering buying new moving heads, especially moving head spots or any lights, we are your people. At Learn Stage Lighting Gear, what we do that's different is we look across all the brands and we make you our best recommendation. We'll even make you a recommendation to a brand that we can't get if that is the right choice for you but we can get pretty much any brand, so that doesn't happen a lot. But regardless, we want to make the best choice for you, not for us. So that's why oftentimes we might recommend something that costs less and therefore we make less, um, but we're in it for the long term. And so if you watch this video, you're looking for some moving heads or any other kind of light, and you'd like a second opinion. You want to know what the best thing is going to be for your needs. Then write in, let us know. We love to help people and we have lighting experts who think about lighting all day every day so that we can make the best recommendation to you and make sure you're happy with a great light for your needs. If that sounds good, head over to LearnStageLightingGear.com. You can always add stuff to your cart and get a quote or just fill out our contact form. Let us know what you're looking for and we can give you some ideas and help you build a quote based on that. And our ultimate goal is that you end your purchase like so many of our customers have by saying, wow, I was able to be helped well. They gave me great advice that wasn't all uh, based on just looking at one manufacturer. You get everything you need to make your lighting work, and then you end up with some great lights that serve your needs really well. If that resonates with you, head over to Learn Stage Lighting Gear, and hey, while you're here, subscribe so we can get you in our next video and help you learn more about lighting and how to use it and make amazing events. Thanks so much. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.